and women who served overseas. Nearly 5,000 U.S. soldiers died and thousands more injured. Members of the military know what it's like to be on the front lines and lose friends in combat. One of them is directing his anger right at President Bush and Dick Cheney. The man you see there, Thomas Young, was paralyzed in Satter City in 2004. He's dying, and in what he believes to be his final days, he has written a letter, letter to George Bush and Dick Cheney. He says it's on behalf of the thousands still living in pain and grief. Here is part of his letter to the former leaders. He says, quote, on every level, moral, strategic, military, and economic, Iraq was a failure. And it was you, Mr. Bush and Mr. Cheney, who started this war. And it was you who should pay the consequences. As the 10-year anniversary of the Iraq War passes, we remember the ultimate price the country has paid women who served overseas. Nearly 5,000 U.S. soldiers died and thousands more injured. Members of the military know what it's like to be on the front lines and lose friends in combat. One of them is directing his anger right at President Bush and Dick Cheney. The man you see there, Thomas Young, was paralyzed in Satter City in 2004. He's dying, and in what he believes to be his final days, he has written a letter to George Bush and Dick Cheney. He says it's on behalf of the thousands still living in pain and grief. Here is part of his letter to the former leaders. He says, quote, on every level, moral, strategic, military, and economic, Iraq was a failure. And it was you, Mr. Bush and Mr. Cheney, who started this war. And it was you who should pay the consequences. As the 10-year anniversary of the Iraq War passes, we remember the ultimate price the country has paid.